Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to get infinite potion effects in Minecraft. That's right, infinite potion effects. I'm sure that everyone wants them, and there is a relatively easy way to get one. Now, this mechanism requires a few parts, including different commands and command blocks to put them into, so watch this video carefully in order to get the best results. So, let's get started. So first off, to attain infinite potion effects in Minecraft, you're going to need command blocks. And in those command blocks are going to be commands. So, why don't we give ourselves a command block right now? To get a command block, we just have to type in the following command. Slash give, then we type in our username, and then we type in command, and find Minecraft command block to fill in the rest. And press enter. Now we have a command block. Now we're going to need to place this command block down in order for it to work. So, let's go ahead and place one down right here. And before we enter any commands into it, I want you to enter another command into the chat. Now, the command we're going to be using is the following. Slash game rule, then type in command and find command block output, and then find false and press enter. So now what we have done is we have turned off all command block output that is going to be displayed in the chat. So our chat isn't going to get spammed with commands that would otherwise be displayed on the screen. So now that we've entered all the necessary precautions, let's go ahead and right click into the command block that we placed. Now, as you can see, it has a whole array of buttons you can press and a console command line that you can use to enter any command you want. A command block can take up to one command unless it links to another command. Now, for this mechanism, we're going to be using just one command block. However, before we enter the command that we're going to be using, let's set this command block to a few specifications that we need in this menu right over here. So, first off, we're going to go to the furthest left button out of the three buttons in the top row, and we're going to find the word impulse on it. That's the mode it stands on by default. Now we're going to click it until it says repeat. Then we're going to go to the furthest right button and we're going to find the words needs redstone on it. Now we're going to click it until it says always active. And now we have the perfect specifications. What we just did is with the repeat function, we set the command block to constantly repeat the command it has when activated and always active mode gets it to be, you guessed it, always active. So if we were to enter a command, this command block would always be constantly repeating it. So why don't we go ahead and enter the command we need. Let's go into the console command line and type in the following. Slash effect give, then we type in your username, and then we find any effect you want out of any of these. I'm going to give myself invisibility as a demonstration. So just type in the effect name and find the right icon. Minecraft invisibility is the one that I need. Now, after a space, we're going to type in one space, one space, true. Now let's dissect what the last part of the command means. So the green number one identifies the number of seconds that our potion effect would last. And the magenta number one identifies the amplifier level of the effect. To give an example, if we have the effect of strength with an amplifier level of five on us, it would deal more damage than a strength effect with an amplifier level of two. Now, the last part of the command is the word true. And this is the indicator that whenever we run the potion effect on us, it will hide the particles of the effect. If we were to type in false, which I don't think you would want to do since it kind of gives your effect away, it wouldn't hide our particles. Now, all of the commands that we've used in this video are going to be in the description below. So you can check that out for any of the commands. And now that we're done with the command block, we can simply press done. Make sure not to press escape, otherwise no changes will be saved. And as you can see, as soon as we set the command, our arm disappeared. And if we press F5, we are actually invisible. So the command block works as intended. Now, one might think that this command block, since it's running forever, would give us the effect constantly. However, there's a problem here. If you go too far away from this command block, causing the chunk it's in to be unloaded, then the command block will stop running this command. So this is where the next part of our mechanism kicks in. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to simply stand on the command block that activates our command, and we're going to type the following command, slash, force load, add, and then type in two tildes. Now, what this command does is it's going to force the chunk that we're standing in to be constantly loaded, even if we're outside of its range. So if we press enter, you can see that the game now marked chunk negative two one in Minecraft overworld to be force loaded. So this chunk in the overworld will constantly be loaded in no matter how far away from the command block we are. So let's test out this mechanism. If we go very far away, I even see a ruined portal over here. As you can see, the chunks that are at the village where we entered the command are far out of our rendering distance. 
and we're still invisible. And now we would still have all the time in the world to fly back to our command block, only to find that it is running our command perfectly. We're still invisible and the mechanism works very well. Now, if we were to deactivate it, you can instantly see that our arm pops back up and we are now visible again. So as you can see, this mechanism works perfectly and all of the commands for this mechanism will be in the description below. So if you just follow all the instructions, then this should work for you as well. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial because I have not posted such videos in a while. And once again, more videos will be coming out soon. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.